Hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate the area under a curve using the trapezium rule. So we have this function of x, and we're going to estimate or find an expression for the area under a curve between this point, which we'll call A, and this point, which we'll call point B. So the way we're going to do this is that we're going to split this section into three equal strips, or three strips of equal length. So we have our first strip, our second strip, and our third strip. And by making each strip into a trapezium, you can see we're approximating the area underneath this curve. It's an approximation because as you can see, we're trying to match a line onto a curve. So in some parts we'll be over the curve and in other parts we'll be below the curve. So it is an approximation. We can make the approximation more accurate by using more narrow strips. But for now, we'll stay with what we've got. So to work out the area of each of these trapeziums, we need to work out their heights. And we know that all of these lengths are parallel. This is the x value at a. The y value will be this, the height of this trapezium will be this y value here. So we'll call that y1. The next line here has a different height, which we'll call y2, and then so on and so on. So we have y3 and y4. And because each strip is of equal length, we can just say that the length we'll call h. Okay? So now we can work out the area of each of these separate trapezia. Well, if we look at the general formula for the area of a trapezium, we've got A and B and H. So the area of a general trapezium will be one half of A plus B times the width of the base H. So for our first trapezium, the area will be one half of the sum of the two parallel sides, so y1 plus y2, multiplied by the base h, and then we can work out the area of a second trapezium, and again this will be one half of the sum of the two parallel sides, y2 and y3, multiplied by the base, and then for our third trapezium, we've got the same, one half of y3 plus y4 times the h. So now you can see we can factor out the halves and the h. So the area will be one half of h, which is easier to write as h over 2. And then we've got y1 plus y2, which I need to do here, plus y2 and y3 plus y3 and y4 and if you had n number of strips then we'll have the penultimate term y to n minus 1 plus yn if we've got n number of strips so we can simplify this further we have the area will be h over 2, and then we've got a single y1 here, so y1, and then for the other terms, we've got two y2s, two y3s, we'll have two y4s, and two of them, so plus two lots of y2, y3, so on, so y to the n minus 1, and then we've got one yn. So our number of strips is n, so plus y n, and then we'll close this bracket. So now we need to define what h are and what n are. So h will be the length of a trapezium, which is the same as b minus a divided by the number of strips. So for instance, b minus a divided by 3. And n 
is simply the number of strips or the number of trapezia. Okay. So this is the general formula for the trapezium rule of integration. So in question one, we're going to use this formula to estimate the area under a curve. Okay, let's move on to question one. Okay, so here we have this general formula. And we've been asked to use this formula, which is the trapezium rule, with four strips to find an approximate value for the area under the curve of y equals e to the x over two between x equals zero and x equals four. And we're going to look at whether it's an overestimate or an underestimate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick, I'm going to sketch a quick diagram of our function. Okay, so I've sketched a diagram. We have our function, y equals e to the power of x over two, and four equally size trapezia, which have a strips. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to work out the y values. So we'll create a table of x and y. So when x equals zero, y will equal e to the zero over two, which is one. When x equals one, we'll have e to the power of one half. And this comes out at approximately 1.649. Then we'll have e to the power of two over two, which is e to the one, and that's 2.718. And then e to the three over two, 4.482. And finally, e to the four over two, which is 7.389. And just to make these very clear, I'm going to write each of these on the graph. And now we need to work out this value of h. So h will equal b, which is the 4, minus the a over 4, and this is 1, which you can see the length of every strip is 1. So putting this information into our formula, the integral between 0 to 4 of e to the x over 2 with respect to x will be approximately h over 2 times y0, which is 1, plus 2 lots of y1 plus y2 plus y3 close this bracket plus y4 and then we'll block this off so let me work this out on our calculator we get 13 to 3 significant figures so the area underneath this curve is approximately 13 units squared. So the next part is, is this an over or an underestimate? So if we zoom into our graph, you can see that this is an overestimate because the curve lies slightly below that of the trapezium, like that, and just here as well, okay? Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. You can download a full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again, and take care.